Per me l'acqua è un elemento molto affascinante perché è molto simile a un essere umano. Ne vediamo lo specchio, la superficie e non abbiamo idea di quali tempeste, correnze e vita interiore con le sue tragedie e le sue gioie. E questa apparente semplicità e oscurità spaventa e affascina. Hi, my name is Samas Brissa and I am a photographer. Most of my art and poetics are expressed with my emotions and my body presence. I believe in photography as a means to tell stories, possibly personal ones. And here comes the project Aqualgia, an intimate and cathartic travel across loss, grief and water. My name is Cristina Ciucarro. I'm from Paraguay. My photo aims to capture the pan-blade screen of the meadows and the mountains that are reflected in the water. Contemplation goes behind the angler who looks alone and yet he's not really so. As idyllic landscape unites man and nature, soul and heaven. This is my tribute to Friuli, my new home. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jonathan Jasper. I have a few photographs that I'm going to discuss. They were all taken last year in 2022 at different locations around the world. The first photograph here is a scene in Istanbul, Turkey, and it was after a record setting day of snow. It had just blanketed the entire city in white. I didn't grow up around snow at all. I grew up in the desert. And so I was very excited. And it seemed like everybody in the neighborhood that I was staying in was sharing in my excitement. And this was just a wonderful scene where women and their daughters had made a makeshift sled out of a rug. And they were splitting down the very steep road that was in front of their houses in this, in this old neighborhood. The second photograph is taken in Varanasi, India, along the banks of the Ganges River, a very important water source for all of India, and especially for Hindus. It's just a daily scene of life along the river. There's a boy jumping off a boat into the river to cool off, and just other things going on along the river riverside. The last photo was taken in Colombo, Sri Lanka, in 2022, for the first half of the year almost, there were daily protests going on to protest uh, the removal of the government. And I was there daily for, for a couple of months documenting these protests. And I just found it fascinating how they were so peaceful and so different than the protests that I was used to seeing. Uh, families with their children, with their grandparents, were all coming out peacefully from all religions to protest. And they would often take breaks and go down to the seaside and take a dip into the water, as we're seeing in this photograph. Hello, my name's Hal Gage. My project is on ice. Having lived here in Alaska all my life, I decided to embrace it and eventually started a project uh, photographing ice. The ice flows that come in on the tides uh, during the winter months, and they get stranded on the mud flats uh, as the tide goes out. I call them the strangers because they come to visit and then on the next tide they're picked up and taken away never to be seen again. And so when the tide goes out, what you see is a vast uh, la flat landscape of uh, silt. Just about anything you put in front of my camera I'd like to photograph, but I do have a passion for photographing ice. Hi, my name is Alan Schroeder and I'm very pleased to be part of the project 71% The State of Water. My series is about the river Ganges in India, Varanasi, where thousands of pilgrims are gathering every day on its banks to perform religious rituals. Unfortunately, the river is very polluted, which is a threat public health and the environment. It is very important to clean the river because it will help to preserve the cultural and sacred heritage for future generations. Thank you very much. 
Hello, my name is Linda Hollinger, and I am very honored to be a part of the project 71% A State of Water. I have been photographing fine art nudes for many years now, and I wanted to expand my work and try underwater photography. A photograph of a human underwater creates a certain scale and tension in the composition. Placing a model in an underwater landscape surrounded by all sorts of marine life makes the underwater image very intense and compelling. With my photography, I wanted to make accessible the beauty and mystery of the underwater world. Thank you. Hello to everyone. My name is Andreas Walter-Lotz from Frankfurt, Germany. I'm glad to be represented in the project 71% The State of Water with eight of my photographs. In my photography, I tried to focus on the presence or absence of water in our urban lives. In the first picture titled White House, the house is going to become accessible again in a flooded area after the water has pulled back. In the second picture, titled Dublin Bay, the water has pulled back completely after the tide is out and opens a wide view on the mudlands of the coastline of Dublin City. In the third picture, titled Low Tide, the shallow water offers a place for recreation and at the same time shows how the country close to the seaside can be used for green and CO2 free energy production. In the last picture, a rain puddle, which represents classic street photography, the moment was taken when passengers passed the rain puddle on a wet summer day. I would like to thank the organizers for initiating this great and interesting project. Thank you. I'm Carl Dedolf from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Following our theme of 71%, the state of water, oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. It seems fitting that shooting photos at an ocean beach tells part of that story. Taken at Huntington Beach, California, the composition includes subjects in the foreground, the midground, and the background. Later afternoon provides shadows with contrasting light that sandwiches the pier. Chance encounters, storytelling, interactions, energy, romance, and yet somewhat typical day experience in SoCal. Shooting under the pier is often a site that offers subjects enjoying the water, such as weddings, parties, birthdays, graduations, dancers, walkers, swimmers, children, family scenes, etc. Augusto Barbieri is a photographer from Busto Arcizio, Varese province. He contributes to this project with a picture of the Pamperduto Dam. The dam is an important hydraulic structure that has been operating since 1884. It is located in Solma Lombardo, on the sides of Ticino River. The dam is considered one of the most important waterworks in Lombardia region. I'm Claudia. I'm speaking from Montereale Valcelline. In our daily life, the, the water plays an important role. Actually, it is a vital element in all of its shape. The water is of enormous importance, especially if we think of the energy production and the hydraulic engineering. The hydroelectric central station Antonio Peter that you can see here is used in the past to lighten a huge area covering Venice. The hydraulic manifesto of modern hydraulic engineering has now become to an important museum showing and promoting the importance of water. Hello, my name is Luca Morgantini. I'm a photographer and I'm based between Berlin and Florence at the moment. Um, I'm really happy to be part of the project 71% State of Water. And two of my pictures uh, are shown here and uh, they're both taken in Italy on the coast of uh, Versilia in Tuscany and the other one in Syracuse, Sicily. Um, the one in Versilia uh, was taken uh, right before the mass uh, uh, people uh, holiday season. The other picture uh, is taken right above uh, Syracuse, from, uh, from above, uh, from top to the bottom. And uh, it shows this man just blowing on this blowing mattress. Uh, uh, on the open sea and uh, you don't really understand if it's actually inside a swimming pool or it's, uh, it's something else. 
Üdvözlök mindenkit, Anyez Budáj vagyok, Magyarországon születtem, Olaszországban élek. Az elkövetkező pillanatokban a fotóimról szeretnék beszélni, ami a Triesti fotodei keretében jelentek meg a víz pályázattal kapcsolatban. A tengervíz és gőze regenerő hatással van a szervezetre. Szerencsére a víz életünk minden területén jelen van. Nagyon fontos, hogy megtanuljuk kezelni a hiányát és a bőségét. Hi, my name is Borna Borsac. I'm from Croatia. I'm very happy to be a part of 71% State of Water project and book. This is a, a series that I made uh, on the coast of Croatia. They were all made with a film camera and they are all double exposure images. The sea and the ocean has always been a big inspiration for my works. Hope you like it. Hello everybody, I am Zavid from Italy. What can I say about this photo? I remember quite well the day when I took these pictures. It was a rainy day in the lake. There was a little bit of fog on the water surface. The water was uh, very calm, firm, and that permitted to me to obtain a quite perfect reflection of a little boat. Hi, my name is Maria Kremiva. I am a self-taught photographer and I'm honored to be part of the 71% of State of Water contest because I've been taking photos of water everywhere and for all my life. My photographic portfolio is called Melt in Greenland. In Greenland, I captured icebergs that take shapes in which you could recognize geometric figures, animals, and even sphinx. Glaciers melting literally in front of your eyes. Lakes of incredible turquoise color. Small pieces of ice floating in the water and creating the most perfect reflections I've ever seen. Hello, my name is Alessio Roberto and I am honored to participate in the 71 State of the Water exhibition. My photos capture the unique relationship some certamers have with water, especially on hot summer days when the canals provide relief, joy and a sense of community. Hi guys, I'm Donato Porzia and I'm proud to present my photograph, Lovely Boys, for the exhibition 71% The State of Water. But in the north of Thailand, there, there is a natural reserve set up to safeguard the forest and the elephants, which are often um, endangered by poachers. So in this magical place, man and nature establish an intense uh, and uh, living relationship of mutual love and respect. Water is the element that unites these two dimensions provides relief from some earthwaves and reminds us once again of the importance of defending and the caring for our planet. Hello, I'm George Lucas. I'm very proud to be part of this amazing project. I'm from Greece, a country with thousand islands through the Mediterranean Sea. As you know, water is so important in our lives. It's in our history, our poetry, our paintings, our culture. And this list can go on and on like the endless sea. So, my photos try to capture a little bit of this unique beauty of water. Thank you very much. Hello, Giovanni Maria Sacco speaking. Uh, I'm the author of the Venice uh, series, which is based on water and uh, more precisely on the reflection of water. Uh, but from uh, a different point of view than the usual one. I noticed that uh, the oar that the gondolier was using to mop the gondola was fracturing the reflection into something that was totally abstract and uh, difficult to, to, uh, to understand. It was quite mysterious. So it's something, it, has a, it might be read as a metaphor of uh, 
the human uh, situation. Uh, we, when we get the answers, uh, they are not satisfactory and uh, we have to search again for other answers. Hello, my name is Maritza Caneca. I'm from Brazil, but I live in Miami where I have my studio. Mm. I'm very proud to be a part of this project, 71% of Taste of Water. My whole body of work is about water and swimming pools. In this exhibition, I'm showing three pictures that show people relaxing in swimming pool in Budapest. Budapest is a very rich city of state of water because the water is rich in calcium and is good for treatment. And I think you're gonna like my work. I hope. Thank you. Hello, my name is Helmut Oberritter. I thank the organizers for establishing the project 71% The State of Water. I'm very pleased that a series of mine will be published in the book. A few words about my pictures. The pictures were taken at a fountain in front of a museum in Bonn in Germany. Bright sunlight makes the water glisten and illuminates the children playing with the water. Backlight creates impressive silhouettes. Hello, my name is Ingrid Hillen and I'm very happy to be selected for the exhibition State of Water with my project Ice Drawings and three single pictures. The photos of my project Ice Drawings were taken over seven years at the end of the winter when the nights are still cold but the sun has enough power to start the melting process and create beautiful drawings in the ice. Hello, my name is Marco Biancardi. I am from Milan, Italy. I am very happy to take part in this beautiful photo project devoted to water. Water is an, ele an element present almost everywhere on our planet and in our lives and it's so rich and so full of uh, emotional meanings uh, for the human beings. In my three pictures I've tried to capture and represent some such kind of emotions. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Marco Campi, I'm a photographer based uh, in Milano. And uh, I would like to say a few words about the project, the Sinking uh, City. So in uh, November 2019, Venice uh, experienced the second highest tide uh, in recorded history. It has to be said that uh, Venice has been built uh, on uh, the sediments uh, deposited by the Po River and uh, uh, its vulnerable nature has been laid bare first by early projects uh, industrial projects uh, last century and then more recently by the global warming because of the sea level rise. Uh, it looks like the city is really slowly slipping to its doom. This is Marcus, welcome to my project SPO. It's about a little town at the North Sea coast in Germany called St. Peter Ording. SPO is well known for its endless beaches and the tidelands the constant change of uh, ebb and fluid when every six hours the water is coming in and going back out into the great wide of the North Sea again. Um, with this project I wanted to show the hugeness of nature on the one hand side and on the other side how small we people are. Hello everyone. I am Navarun Raha, a practicing photographer based out of Kolkata, India. First of all, I would like to thank Team Exhibit Around for selecting my photo for this project of the year, which is called 71% State of the Water, along with other talented photographers. Now, the photograph of mine was captured on a rainy afternoon on the streets of Kolkata. Back in March 2023, the frame portrays the beauty of Kolkata as one of the oldest cities of India through the reflection in the water of the street. Hi everyone, my name is Monia Marchioni and I'm, uh, I can show the extraordinary in the ordinary of everyday. 
I can demonstrate my point of view by involving the people on my set in a fantastic experience. The poetry is everywhere and just look with the mind and then with the eyes and this is the case of my primo amore, first love. The project is the visionary narration of the town where I grew up, Porto San Giorgio, on the Adriatic coast. Uh, in the photo there are my friends, uh, there are strangers, there is my daughter and there is me. This is my transposition of memories, this is my uh, visual language to tell an intimate story and uh, I'm happy to, uh, to exhibit uh, Primo Amore at the Trieste Photo Day Festival. Thank you for the opportunity, I'm happy and uh, grateful for uh, this chance. Thank you. Grazie. Ciao. Hi everybody, I'm Nico Di Lucio and uh, I'm really proud to be part of the 71% State of Water project. This story is my personal point of view on the how people live the water life. I'm intrigued by how their behavior changes when they are near water, assuming an attitude they wouldn't have in public. So I hope you enjoy it and uh, I'll see you in Trieste. Hello, my name is Paolo Maschio. I'm a Italia photographer from the Venice area and my photo uh, Italian summer. Um, I wanted to portray uh, the Terme of Saturnia in a different uh, but my photo was taken during the years of Covid uh, and still there was plenty of people and like people are the subject of my photography so I wanted to portray how it really is uh, during summer. Hi, my name is Vladislav Shapovalov. I'm a visual artist and cinematographer from St. Petersburg and I'm really proud to be part of the City of Water exhibition. My work, Robinson, shows a person sailing in front of the construction site of a new district in St. Petersburg. It has been built right in the waters of the Gulf of Finland using the land reclamation technique. Lots of people were and are protesting against this construction as it would harm the ecology and destroy the last public beach inside the city. And I tried to express the feeling of an escapism in the modern world and if we continue to treat the nature and our environment the same way as today, who knows what kind of life we will get in the future and will it be normal or will we have to escape it with enemies, like in my photo. I am Gioia Maria Luisi. I am a photographer. I live in Milan and I am also an artist. In Valencia, the city of art and science uh, was an extraordinary visit, composed of various structures and designed by the Valencian architect Santiago Calatrava. It has various incredible buildings and has fascinated me and first sight. Return to order. Andrea Bevilacqua actively engages in artistic research activities, focusing primarily on photography through these captivating images. Baby Lacqua documented the melting of the alpine glaciers, serving as a poignant testament to the impact of rising global temperatures. Hi everybody, I'm Alessandro, London-based photographer. Over the last two years, uh, I've been working on a project about the British coastline, an idea that came from uh, the Brexit referendum slogan, uh, taking back control of our borders. A slogan that, like a mantra, been repeated so many times during the referendum campaign. Hello to everyone. I'm Jose Barriga. I live in the city of El Paso. My first image is left as untitled because I see as a virtual metaphor between our humanity, the environment, the massive oil production, and the ocean waters. This was close to sunset at the Huntington Beach dot beach from the city of Huntington Beach, California. The second selection I named it to rinse and rain shower. A many showering on the sidewalk while the heavy and fast water drops from the torrential rain are falling on him too. The image was captured in Guayaquil, Ecuador. The third selection is called Wendy the Water Droplet Mascot and Rainfall Water Droplets. The other neighborhood from Washington DC is hosting a street block party. Wendy the Water Droplet Mascot has joined the, water, the team under their boot. Wendy and the, top of, is, and the top of the tent has identical light blue colors. Suddenly, a subject was carrying an umbrella. Tiny droplets are visible in the canvas of the blue tent. Rain droplets are visible at the top of the umbrella. Water droplets have formed a juxtaposition with Wendy. 
the four photos lift the stand up paddle body. I see the outbound move from this paddling boat, uh, group. I wait until they're situating in the middle of my frame, made by those, uh, those two seawalls. Weather conditions are great at Redondo Beach Pier, located at the city of Redondo Beach, California. My fifth and last picture is named on title. I see a group of bicycle riders approaching. A dog seems to be enjoying the bicycle ride where he's sitting in the front of the bicycle that is leading. The short line is marked by the foam made by the waves. The background is made by thick clouds. It was taken at Vista del Mar, Playa del Rey, California. Thank you. Hi, my name is Roberto Carnevali and I am an Italian photographer. The photo is titled Parallel Lives it was shot in Ferrara, Italy. In this image, I use water as a narrative element. Its calm surface is a mirror to the real world. And in the mirror, everything is turned upside down. Not just the images, as often happen between some man appearance and the death on his soul. Thank you. Hi, I'm Raquel Meyers. I am Archite Scythe. And we are Arca Meyers. And we're glad to show you our work, Boria. Boria is about the ecological catastrophe that has been happening in Mar Menor, the biggest salty lagoon in Europe that is located in the southeast of Spain in Murcia. We hope Boria will give you a better understanding of the situation in the Mar Menor. I took these photos of waves when I was in, in Iceland. I was in the north east coast of France when I saw these uh, huge waves coming from the north and magic coming from the Arctic. And I was so attracted by their potency and by their repetition that I started to take photos of them. In addition, the atmosphere was perfect for a black and white photo because the dark seas, the white foam and the black beach result in very good black and white composition. Hello, I am Pia Parolin and I am a wetland ecologist and a photographer. And my focus has been on the ecology of rivers and of fresh water and I do this for my scientific work but also for my photography. I focus on the theme of water and specifically on the theme of river culture, on the relation of people with water. Once we were really closely connected with water but now in the western countries this connection has been lost and that's something that I analyze in my photos. Photography can tell a story, it can capture a moment and it can be art. Looking at a picture, you are entering in a story, written by the viewer. A good picture is dream or nightmare kickstart. Water is both ancestral dream and fear. We are fascinated by a wonderful sunshine mirror and worried by a thunderstorm. In my picture, you are living both emotion, together with the family that are living this moment, together with you. Reggio Schiratti. Per me fotografare è emozionarsi ed emozionare. La pressione prima dello scatto si trasforma in gioia pura dopo il click. L'acqua è il filo conduttore elemento protagonista di queste foto, riprese in paesi diversi, ma unate della magia di atmosfere surreali e tuniche. Buon viaggio! Hi, I am Antonino Clemenza from Rome. Uh, this uh, photo was taken on a summer afternoon at uh, the salt pans of Trapani and the Marsala in Sicily. Seawater contains 32 kg of salt per cubic meter. The salt extraction process is ecologically sustainable. The engines that evaporate the seawater are the sun and the wind. There are no polluting production waste and the water from which the salt crystallized is stored and reused the following year. Hi, my name is Benedetta Lepri and I'm from Rome. The first picture is Varazze. Last summer I spent five weeks in Liguria. Badgers were on the coast. 
some standing, others moving, others laying down on the beach. All of them were colored. The second picture is the one I love more, Daddy. I took this picture at Chones Beach, my second home. The third picture is children, two kids who did not know each other were playing with the sand. I usually let me chariot by my instinct and by what I see in that moment, which seems to me beautiful for taking a picture. Nothing more than this. Thanks. Hi guys, my name is Cristina Gârleșteanu and I am a photographer from Romania. My image showcases a solitary woman standing strong amidst the vast expanse of sand, clouds and sea. Her presence evokes a sense of contemplation and solitude, inviting us to dwell into the depths of our own emotions. The seas are a source of wonder, reminding us of the immense power and tranquility that coexist in nature. As we gaze upon this scene, we are reminded of the power and beauty of water which covers 71% of our planet. It serves as a poignant reminder of the state of water, its significance and its connection to our lives. Beyond their physicality, the seas embody a sense of unity and interconnectedness. Pretty much like this exhibition, they connect distant lands, cultures and people transcending borders and boundaries. Hi everyone, for the call of, on the theme of uh, water launched this year by Exhibit Around, I presented a small project of an intimate nature entitled Crazy Beach, which aims to be a reflection on the particular place, which is the meeting point between sea, land, air, a meeting place in contact with nature, but also a place to work, a landing place for those in difficulty at sea, and unfortunately also a place where tragedies occur. Crazy Beach wants to remind us that we are part of a fall. Hi, my name is Nicole Vittori Diago. I am a photographer from South Africa and I'm currently based in the United Kingdom. I'd like to say a big thank you to Dot Art and Exhibit Around. It's an absolute honor to be part of this project, 71% the state of water, and I'm thrilled to have three of my images selected. Water has the ability to bring a sense of peace, calm and serenity. It also has the ability in accessing the child within us all. And with that comes wonder, playfulness and curiosity. Hi, my name is Teresa Molinaro. I participated in this project with three black and white photographs, which I took in southern Italy, in my favorite places, where the sea is a part of local people who experience it in the every aspect of their lives. But uh, let me tell you that uh, water is more precious uh, than ever for uh, this planet, for our planet, and uh, we must do everything to celebrate and preserve it. Hello everyone, my name is Michael Natter. Originally from Switzerland, I have been living and working in Vienna since 1999 and I love to capture the beautiful tristesse of my city. My selected photos were all taken during a summer holiday in the beautiful coastal town of Sadar, Croatia. The three photos show the beauty, power, changeability and playfulness of the element water. Hi, my name is Magda Rittenhaus and I am grateful to be part of the State of Water project which seems very timely and very urgent. The images that I submitted to this project were taken in Japan. I photographed a fisherman cleaning his nets in a small coastal town of Kamakura. The ocean, the delicate threads of his nets, his hands, there was so much grace and dignity in his composure, in the way he carried himself, in the way he was part of his environment. The stone water basin with a wooden ladle next to it comes from a Zen garden in Kyoto. 
but wells like that can be found in countless other gardens that are part of Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples all over Japan. The very intimate relationship that the Japanese have with nature sim seems truly unique. Other than few indigenous communities, the Japanese might be the last people on our planet who still, up to these days, treat the natural world with reverence. Hello, I'm Janet Müller, painter and photographer by passion. My photos participating in the state of water show the importance of its care for the survival of the world. Then the beauty in all its aspects and of course the warning not to waste it. The water executes beauty everywhere, on the lake flown over by seagulls as in the endless drops of photography of Venice, a city made even more magical, photographed on a rainy day. I'm Carlo Rondinone. My photo project deals with climate change. It includes photos taken after the Great River Po, flood in Brescia, and others taken same time later in the same place during the drought. The tranquility and sense of peace that silence transmitted at the moment in which I took these photos. Hi, I'm Stephanie Weiblinger, street photographer based in Hamburg, Germany. It's particularly gratifying to be part of the exhibit that is dedicated to one of our most important elements, the water. My photo, The Old Man and the Sea, shows the power of the water in two ways and the relationship between man and water. A large ledge in the middle of the raging sea on the north coast of Portugal is impressively perforated by the extreme raging water masses, wind and weather. On the cliff of this rock, an old man fishing struggles with the natural force of the sea. It looks like a showdown between David and Goliath. And it's obvious, water means power. Thank you. I am Rabbi Ling Montgomery. The subject of my photography is most often nature in its many forms and my relationship with nature. I often include water in these images because I'm so attracted to reflections. The image that was selected for this exhibit was taken in the Inside Passage of Alaska, and it shows the reflection of beautiful blue ice from a glacier in the frigid water that borders that glacier. Also in this water are floating chunks of ice that have melted off the glacier. This of course is a constant occurrence and therefore I feel that this image does represent the current state of water. Hello, my name is Tessa Rizodestano and I'm from Gibraltar. The photos submitted were taken in Turgana, Kenya. The men that I've captured were getting water from a well that was three men deep, known as the singing well. They sing to each other to be able to keep the rhythm of collecting water going. The water collected is given to their cattle to allow them to, to drink. And then fill, they fill bottles for their villages and use that to, to wash and, and drink themselves. I would like to say about Two photographs from my the first uh, shape of clouds I noticed somewhere over there, and then the other one was just close by, looking in uh, other direction. No one would notice it because uh, people normally, after work time, when this was happening on the sky. The gift of cloud. Seventy-one percent of the state of. Oh.